my name is Meredith Graham and I'm from Harmony Vision Care. Uh, vision therapy is really like physiotherapy but for your eyes. So it's not like going to the gym. A lot of people think that vision therapy will be about muscle building. So you just go to the gym and do 20 reps, but it's not like going to the gym at all. Uh, vision therapy is more like physiotherapy in the way that you actually learn how to use muscles in a better and more efficient way. And then you practice that until it becomes automatic. So we use vision therapy to treat eye teaming problems, people who have trouble coordinating the two eyes together, um, tracking problems, focusing problems, visual processing problems. And really we can start treating kids from uh, toddlers um, until there is no age limit. We see infants to retirement. There's a really big overlap in the symptoms of dyslexia to the um, and symptoms of attention problems and vision problems. So about 60% of the symptoms, I say in attention difficulties, are the same symptoms that you'll get in a vision problem. Uh, same symptoms that you get in a vision problem. So um, we see patients who may have been considering a diagnosis of ADD or ADHD or considering a diagnosis of dyslexia. But until they actually rule out a vision problem first, then they may, they may be considering the wrong diagnosis. So we can at least treat the vision problem first. And it's not that people with dyslexia can't have vision problems, sometimes they have both. But at least once we rule out the vision problem, we, then they can go from there. Meredith, tell us about the different age groups. Sure, well we test kids any age from nine months, right through into adults. At nine months and um, three years up to that sort of age group, we're looking more at how kids are actually using the two eyes together and whether the two eyes are developing the same because that's a critical age for when children can start to develop eye turns and lazy eyes. After that, as kids approach school age, we're really looking at whether they have the visual skills that they need to engage properly in a classroom. So can they maintain visual attention? Can they focus their eyes? Can they team their eyes? Can they track? And then as children move into their teenage years and also into adulthood, it's about looking at the kind of visual skills that they need to succeed in their work um, or their life. And that can differ, differ depending on the job. So someone who's an elite athlete, for instance, needs different visual skills to someone who works on a computer all day. So for us, it's a matter of looking at, well, what do they need their visual system to do? And what can it currently do? And can we help with any shortfall? Thanks, it's been great.